to him, everyone. Peace and blessings from the Most High, Ahayasha, Ahaya, the Great I Am that I Am, or whatever name you call him by. He has many names, but let's remember some of them are pagan. Um, if you can hear it in the background, this is Harp 432, Heights with Rain, Focus Music, and that's from Meditative Mind Channel. Um, I've just got in, I've still got my scarf on. It's a little bit cold here in um, London, UK. It was snowing a lot, minus four last night. The snow has not stopped now. It's zero degrees and the dark is just coming in. Got my fringes on, on my scarf <laughs> and even on my shirt. Not that I'm an Israelite, but we are all called to keep the Lord's statutes and commandments of the Most High. If you're new to that, don't worry, there's still time to learn. I won't go into that now. This is a call for unity, and this is and it's the heart. And when and when I felt like King Saul, remember King Saul, who was a king. I wasn't a king, but the part I relate to is that the Most High um, sent a wicked spirit on him, and he had no rest except when King David would come and pray the harp. And I was like that for a while. So if you're walking through the shadow of the valley of death, remember Psalm 23. Even if I should walk through the shadow of the valley of the shadow of death. Um, as an eye is with me, I will fear no evil. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. And they comfort us because they cause repentance, you know. We know that um, our Father is loving, his love is unconditional, but he gave us free will. And if you continue to choose how lukewarm Christians and non-believers, he will send you there. But there is still time to repent. I'm here to encourage people. Um, and I've been listening to the self so I don't know how to say it properly, frequencies again. The last few days I was guided back to them and they've really been helping me. They help with your DNA that we know that Anunnaki um, tampers with Satan's greatest desire is to change us because we are made in the image of, a high, of the Most High God. So they've been helping. I posted some on CBN, Christian News, Christian Network, Christian Broadcasting Network, sorry, on their, on their forum, their prayer forum. I've been a member for a long time. And um, when I started, I, I was in a right state. I had um, schizophrenia, which we all know, contrary to the opinions of most psychiatrists, is that it's demonic possession. I had acute depression. I just used to stay in my bed. I couldn't even cry. I was just dead inside. I had bipolar. That's getting better now. I pray that I had changes it to good so I can weep with those who weep and rejoice with those who rejoice. And if you are depressed, Psalms are a great help. And always remember, Weep you may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. But how long your night is, your dark season is, only your higher nose, that you can cause him to have pity on you if you obey him, you know, and if you have a humble, repentant heart. So so I put I put the discussion between me and the hater on my on my she report she threatened to report me for admin just for sharing sulfogenic frequencies and said they're not scriptural. And I told her they used to be encoded in the Bible and then a Christian doctor, Dr. Len Horowitz, had them revealed to him and their great healing. This is Psalm 133, Unity, A Song to Bring You Higher by King David. And it's from the Passion Translations of Psalms, subtitled Poetry on Fire. How truly wonderful and delightful to see brothers and sisters living together in sweet unity. It's as precious as the sacred scented oil flowing from the head of the high priest Aaron, dripping down upon his throat, his beard, and running all the way down to the hem of his priestly robes. And then the footnote, footnote says, or running down the collar of his robe. This heavenly harmony can be compared to the dew, dripping down from the skies upon Mount Hermon, refreshing the mountain slopes of Yazbayal. But from this realm of sweet harmony, a high will release his eternal blessing, the promise of life forever. And if anyone else is truly born again, as you know, once we're truly born again, the kingdom starts now. Yeshua, our Saviour, said the kingdom of God is within you. We are still waiting. We are manifesting the kingdom now. He needs um, a thousand million billion John the Baptist to rise up and make a way in the wilderness for the return of our King, Yeshua HaMashiach, the rightful King and only ruling judge. Turn to him in repentance and supplication. Fast as much as you can. Read as much scriptures give to the poor we know we know that famine is coming it's already in many places some christians seem to think that everything is about america and the uk there's famines in ethiopia again there's famines in yemen i think kenya and nigeria are having famines in the north and everything 
and we've seen food shortages that and they're trying to bring in more curses of the COVID-19 to worse mutant effects I've never had the fake um snake bite and I never will none of my my daughter and my grandchildren have an either it is satanic um some some mainstream reports are coming out now about how bad it is for your physical health but your spiritual health it's even worse you know it, it's really devastating um a high will provide for your needs i'm on disability benefit and i didn't fill in my pip form because um, i didn't see it in the post i'm a bit chaotic still in my house although i'm trying to clean my house up again this afternoon and i'm doing really well and um so they stopped my monthly disability allowance and they half my twice my fortnightly um, income support money but I still had enough just about I've got a good friend from the socialist party I used to be in that I borrowed from because I always pay him back I'm honest now I used to be a thief for drugs and things but now I'm not a thief I will provide everything you need it says in the bible seek ye first the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness not your own righteousness keeping the law doesn't make us righteous it's Yeshua's grace that makes us righteous and it helps us overcome sin and start keeping the law. Seek ye first the kingdom of Yah and his righteousness, and all the things you need will be added unto you. And in that scripture, it says, you know, the things that the Gentiles are asked for, for food and shelter and clothing. But it, to my mind, it's also all your spiritual, physical, financial, emotional, and social needs. In due time, he will provide. And remember, sometimes we are tested. There's always someone worse off. Um, and then I got a I got a voucher from my church, Oasis Church in London, a hundred pound Saints Free, that's a food store voucher. So I was really pleased about that. A higher provides when you're not looking for it. I'm also experiencing hate from someone from my church and I've been banned from my small group. But I've got all the evidence of the lies he's telling about me. The poor thing and I, I um said I and when he com and he said he was gonna contact the leadership and then when I told him how to, because they sent me a hundred pound voucher, he said he didn't say that, but it's right in the text, you know, it's among other lies he told against me. So I pulled it to them and someone in the leadership is bringing me tomorrow at 11. So hopefully that will go okay. Whatever happens will be a high as well. So be blessed and take courage. All these terrible things are happening, but remember what the Messiah promised us. When these things come to pass, rejoice and look up for your redemption draws nigh. Okay. Bye.